Following the court order on 3rd February 2017, Kenya National Commission on Human Rights and the Central Organization of Trade Unions were appointed as mediators on the ongoing doctor's strike. We have been engaged in mediation with the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Pharmacists and Dentists Union and the Ministry of Health and the County uh, of Governors and other stakeholders for the past seven days in a bid to find amicable and lasting solutions to end the ongoing doctor's strike. We did this because of our commitment to the right to health and the cost to the country in terms of life and, uh, quality, of li and quality of life, loss of life and quality of life occasioned by the great disruption of the delivery of health services in the country. In the past week, since Saturday through yesterday, and we ended, we, we stopped uh, past midnight this morning, about uh, one o'clock, we left this office. We, we, so uh, we gave it our all, consulting widely, and we had all the relevant actors around the mediation table, and we had the Council of Governors represented We've had the Salaries and Remuneration Commission on, on a number of occasions, including yesterday when, we were, uh, when uh, none other but the chair of the SRC appeared uh, uh, around the mediation table to help us resolve uh, some solutions, and, uh, some issues and some disputes which were still outstanding. We've had a representative from the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Kemri, Representatives, including the director and her uh, chief uh, directors from the Kenyatta National Hospital, which is greatly affected by the ongoing strike. We had expert uh, representation from the Federation of Kenyan Employers, FKE, and they brought a lot of expertise on resolution of uh, trade disputes to the table. We had high representation from the Public Service Commission, the Treasury, the Ministry of Health uh, cooperated fully in terms of uh, contributing to the mediation process that I'm happy to report progressed very well throughout the week. By virtue of confidentiality agreements signed by all parties at the beginning of the mediation process, we are bound not to reveal or divulge pertinent information unless with the consent of all parties. This was a professional mediation and it was conducted along internationally set standards and that is why we have not engaged you, members of the press, in any part of the ongoing process so as to uh, uh, safeguard the sanctity of the mediation table. As of yesterday, we had, acceptable, we had an acceptable draft recognition agreement that was mediated by us, negotiated between the parties, and accepted between the same, the union and the Council of Governors and will form the basis of the recognition agreements that will be signed uh, uh, by the various county governments and the union. We had also progressed further and worked on the contents of the collective bargaining agreement. Indeed, about 90% of the issues in the agreement were totally settled, actually above 90% of the issues. And we were literally at the tail end of the negotiations and the agreements when time simply uh, lapsed. I would like to say that we, the court-appointed mediators, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, and the 
Central Organization on uh, Trade Unions, COTU, we remain engaged and committed to the process in line with agreement so far reached by all parties involved. We understand fully that the court has to jealously guard its orders and mandates for its authority and independence to be respected in society. We have taken note of Justice Wasilwa's ruling today and particularly her direction that mediation should continue. We, the mediators, remain committed to working with the respective parties towards finding amicable solutions in this rather complex matter. We recognize that frustrations during the mediation processes can occur, and especially in processes that have such limited time. We were working within a very constricted, uh, very uh, constricted uh, uh, time, and we had uh, extreme time constraints within which to settle so many issues among a myriad of parties. Thus, the effect in such cases is an opportunity to voice the same for greater understanding. We are thereby clarifying that the mediation table remains active and the overnight meetings remain until we find or we, you see white smoke. Finally, we wish to thank all the parties who took part in the process. And I can confirm to all of you and to the Kenyans at large that many went over and above the call of duty and literally burnt the midnight oil to find solutions to this problem. Thank you very much. That is the end of our statement. We will now take questions. Yes, sir. Uh, you said that you had come to some sort of a with the Council of Governors and the Doctors' Union, and that over 90% of the issues have been flushed out. Why couldn't you present this in court to avert the jailing of the union doctors? Uh, thank you very much. You realize that we were represented in court this morning, and uh, the court order by Justice Wasilwa was to give um, seven days within which um, what we were expected to do was to come back to court with a return to work formula. And um, through all the negotiations and the discussions and the deliberations and the consultations, the parties were not able to agree on a return to work formula around the mediation table. One of the things I'd like to clarify about mediation is that mediators don't make decisions. We just facilitate parties to speak to each other and to come to an agreement between them. And um, because of the confidentiality uh, statements that, uh, that uh, guard the mediation process, we are not at uh, liberty to um, really uh, uh, tell you or reveal the details that were agreed between the parties. Because when parties are negotiating around the mediation table, deals are given and some of the deals have a shelf life. And if a deal is offered and it's not taken, it cannot be recorded in court. As, as a position. But uh, because, as you heard Justice Wasilwa say, she said she did direct that uh, mediations should continue. And you do hope that um, uh, when all the parties are ready to uh, resume uh, negotiations, we can we, we continue, we are ready, able, and willing to offer our mediation services and a safe place and, uh, and a safe clearing where they can all uh, come and um, air out the rest and, and just thrash out the rest of the issues that were not thrashed out. The other thing I'd like to say is that this matter was a little bit more complex because there was a union on one side and many actors on the other side. 
the union doctors uh, work for a myriad of uh, employers, not just the Ministry of Health. And right now, in terms of government, they have 48 employers, the national government and 48 county governments. We also have institutions like the Kenya National, Kenyatta National Hospital and, and, and uh, university um, teaching hospitals and um, Kemri, which is a research institution, etc., etc. So there, there are so many other institutions apart from the counties. And um, as of the time we came to the mediation table, there, were no there was not even a draft recognition agreement agreed between the parties. There was no recognition agreement with some of the employers, and there was no CBA or collective bargaining uh, agreement between them. So, and yet there was uh, a recognition agreement between some of the employers. So various parties in the, around the table were at different places in terms, in terms of uh, their relationship with the union. 